and in this video, we're going to be doing blush nails. I feel like it's been a long time since I've filmed me doing a natural nail manicure on my own nails. I'm kind of excited. I've been wanting to try these blush nails ever since I saw them about a year ago. I think they're known as Aurora nails and also cold girl nails. And I wanted to do them on my natural nails with nail polish, no gel involved, where I'm going to be using the Blue Cross cuticle remover. I'm going to be using my metal cuticle pusher. You should probably just use a wooden cuticle pusher though because metal can be kind of harsh. After I'm finished with my cuticles, I'm going to go ahead and use a lint-free pad and clean my nail bed with some white distilled vinegar to balance out the pH of my nail. And I know it's kind of weird that I use vinegar. Most people use rubbing alcohol and then a nail dehydrator, but I don't have a nail dehydrator so I'm just going to wipe my nails with some vinegar. Then I'm going to grab one of my favorite base coats of all time, which is the OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. Because I was wearing red polish before this grape manicure that you just saw, and I was wearing the Revlon Red nail polish from Walmart. That is the most pigmented red I have ever worn. I can't believe it didn't stain my nail plate more. When my base coat is dry, I'm going to paint one coat of this nail polish that I've literally had for like eight years. It is called Ballet Flats from Broadway. Broadway used to be a nail polish brand sold at Dollar General. I don't know if it's still around, but I'm going to choose this one because it is a very light pinky shade and with blush nails, it's usually a light base. When that polish is tacky to the touch, I'm going to go ahead and grab my wet and wild blush and I'm going to press it in the center of the nail. You can use your finger or a brush. Be gentle though so you don't smudge the nail polish underneath. It is important that your nail polish isn't completely dry because it will make it very hard to press the powder into the nail polish. Maybe even impossible. With the nail polish, you got to find the perfect middle ground where it's not too wet and it's not too dry. Also, I suggest just doing one nail at a time because I've noticed that nail polish can dry really quickly. So if you have finger movement like a jackrabbit, then you could probably do all your nails before before they dry, but for me, I'm gonna take a slow. After my nails are fully blushed up, I'm gonna apply a top coat. I will be using the Sesh V Quick Dry Top Coat. This top coat kind of shrinks after it dries, so you gotta kind of flood the nail, then clean up afterwards. But I can't seem to break up with this top coat. I just can't. I absolutely loved how these nails turned out. So fun and easy to do. Perfect low-key manicure to wear for different seasons and holidays. I'm probably gonna wear these for Valentine's Day. You know, we should try doing this with gel polish. Maybe on long nails? But for that, click right here. And remember, ascenders, our dreams ascend to the highest peak. Love ya, and I'll see you in my next. Meow. Bye.